Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I want to do initial impression on a fragrance uh, which is quite popular in the fragrance community but outside fragrance community I do not have any idea how it sells, how they are doing. So uh, let's talk about Parfums Vintage, Pineapple Vintage Intense. Okay, I got this like a couple of days back. I want to do initial impression. I tested this fragrance before. I reviewed it with another fragrance together long time ago. I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was not my most favorite fragrance at the time. And I did not take my time, you know, honestly speaking, you have to spend a lot of time sometimes with fragrance. Over the time, your taste changes, you know, you are more open to other, trying other things, or uh, your opinion on fragrances changes, very, very normal. Um, so let's see uh, what Pineapple Vintage Intense is like. So this guy, uh, this perfume, uh, many people, many, many reviewers gave positive feedback. And it has a lot of love, more love than hate on uh, Fragrantica, some information. And this gets compared a lot to Aventus because this house is dedicated to make a lot of Aventus clones, Aventus-like fragrances with a lot of their variation like darker, milkier, uh, something with Sauvage, X batch this and that. A lot of fragrances they did. I don't know exactly how many are there, but there are quite a few Aventus-inspired fragrances. And they also have other fragrance, uh, inspired fragrance like GIT, you know, uh, Milicin Prior Paras, I'm not sure. So let me tell you uh, this fragrance, everything uh, I got so far, presentation, price, performance, smell, if it's uh, compared a little bit with uh, other Aventus uh, inspired fragrances, there are a lot, I own a lot, there are many more out there. So here you go, 100 ml. This is the box it comes in. Very nice, interesting presentation, I really like it. Uh, it's not like uh, hard cardboard, like Parfum de Marley special line, but it's nice, it looks nice. There's a pineapple sign, which is a good sign. <laughs> Everybody likes pineapples. So pineapple vintage, except on pizzas. Many people do not like it. Intense, uh, EDP, 100 ml. And at the back, there's this, uh, you know, like an image. I don't know who that is, Russian ruler or, I don't know, up there like that. Must have seen it. I couldn't find where the batch code is, but I guess it's somewhere. Anyway, so the confusion is, Sometimes people are like, is this Pineapple Vintage? What is the house name? Parfums Vintage. And this is Pineapple Vintage Intense. This is the name. I think they have smaller bottle, but this is 100 ml that I have. I really like the bottle design, okay? Heavy glass base. This is nice little pineapple in there with that kind of like uh, Texas style, I think. It's like a cowboy or something like that. Uh, you know, like, I like this. It's pretty nice. You can feel they are raised. And then it's wooden cap. Really nice, like Burberry touches wooden caps. And I guess few other houses also have bottom they have the sticker and it reminds me a little bit of above it reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana Purom kind of bottles juice color is mild yellow so let's talk about if the cap it's not clicking onto place uh, it's not fit sort of but not super secure atomizer looks like that and it has this nice sort of a shape I really like it okay uh, sprayer on this is very very nice it's like Dior Sauvage but better it shoots like a nice sort of cloud so I like the way it uh, sprays. Performance, I'm uh, sorry, the price on these are around 100, under 100 dollars on most part. In Bangladesh, it's like 100, 110 dollars for 100 ml. Um, the thing is EDP concentration, yes, EDP concentration. The original one I smelled, I think it was also like this, but it was not as uh, strong as this one. This is the performer version of the original. So Pineapple Vintage was the original. Pineapple Vintage Intense is the flanker. So how does it smell, what it's like, and where does it stand with other uh, Aventus clones, right? Simple, one by one. This is a uh, different leaf, okay? And the fragrance, first time you want to spray it, I would suggest you, do not, when you spray it on the skin, do not do this. Do not dig your nose on the skin and try to detect that pineapple. There is a pineapple, and there is also, I think, a few other notes that in the opening, it's like green apple. So it's a fruity, it's a fruity, very fruity opening. And many people said this does not smell nice. It comes off off-putting or something's off about the opening. Here is the trick. When you spray it, as I told you, do not do this. Do this. Let the fragrance come to you, okay? So move your hand in the air. And that's when you're gonna smell the beautiful, beautiful pineapple juice. Authentic pineapple juice that you use to make, uh, I don't know, drinks and cocktails. You'll smell that in a bar. So beautiful pineapple juice, very juicy, very authentic. And instead of lemon that you get in many other Aventus clones, you're gonna get the realistic pineapple. So that's what is nice, that's very nice. 
when you smell it, that pineapple and the apple combination is beautiful. The apple reminds me a little bit of uh, not Aventus. This opening reminds me a little bit of YSL YDP, that apple, green apple. And then the pineapple reminds me of fruity batches of Aventus. But that's the first stage. On my skin, it starts changing. That pineapple uh, will, the juiciness will disappear. Let's say the bergamot, if they have bergamot, lemon, it's going to go away after a while. But the dry down, that's where this fragrance is special. I did have 120 ml of Aventus, the fruity batch, okay? And uh, perhaps another day I'll compare, but in short, this is a better deal than Aventus, okay? I said it, and I'm going to defend why. Uh, the fragrance priced, if you look at the uh, price in Bangladesh, this is one third of the cost of Aventus of 100 ml, 100 versus 100. You can buy three bottles of this, let's say 300 ml versus 100 ml of Aventus. And this one lasts longer than Aventus in current formulation of Aventus, 100 ml, any day. Uh, I don't know if you get better performance with newer batches, I do not get, I tried it. Uh, perhaps maybe my skin had problem, but this fragrance has no problem with the performance. It's peace mode, okay? If you wear it, the projection is two and a half hours easily to project on your, from your neck, go to one on your chest and go both arms. It will cover your 12 hours mark per day, even in our condition, okay? So the dry down is where it happens, the magic, you know? So this dry down has the birch, okay? And a little bit woody. And they say ambergris, but I think this fragrance smells extremely close to the smoky, semi-smoke, semi-fruity uh, batch of Aventus. And that's where it starts becoming like magic, okay? Even if you're not a fan of the opening, the dry down is gonna be winning your heart, especially if you're a fan of Aventus. So this is why I think this is special. And this is why I'm calling this a better deal than Aventus, even though this is a clone of Aventus, okay? But that is just my humble opinion. Do not hate me. If you feel Aventus is better, obviously original is always getting the credit. But spending the money versus what you get, for me, I would buy back a bottle of it or when this is finishing i will perhaps buy another one okay so where does this stand comparing the other uh, clones uh, you know i have a uh, cd name edp uh, <laughs> i have pretty, pretty much covered almost all of the uh, explorer uh, cd name then uh, rasa c zebra then there is this one i was forgetting the name uh, supremacy silver by afnan plenty out there this is better than every single clone of those not because this is more price. It is double the price of Club Dino Intense Man uh, Limited Edition. But uh, for the price what you get in CD name, you cannot bargain. For the price, that is an absolute winner. If you buy this, for example, you found this or the EDP. These are absolute bangers. You cannot complain for the price what you get. That is extremely nice. Dry down is extremely beautiful. But that opening, they don't have that pineapple as much as this one. This is the opening magic. That's one thing is different. Second thing is, performance support same with CD name special edition EDP you're not gonna get that much more but what you're gonna get is more natural less synthetic version of CD name which is improvement upon CD name and it's very very close to Aventus so you wear this and you go out sometimes you move around it really amazes you the dry down especially is beautiful so you get a little bit of smokiness a lot of juiciness and you get the realistic pineapple and you get excellent performer and I think the price People say it's a little bit overpriced. I would say not this one, okay? And I think if you have the money or if you have the availability, at least try a small sample. You'll understand what I mean. And just see the dry down. This is where this is special. The opening can be like, let's say about, I'll give it like Aventus is way ahead of this. If you talk about side by side, Aventus opening is supreme. You cannot compare this opening with Aventus. But on the dry down, this one will uh, take off and then I think the turbo will kick in and it will go past Aventus. That's just my humble opinion. I'll test it more. I'll do a full-on review. This one you can wear also all year round in my humble opinion. You can wear this in winter. It will have the projection performance. You can wear it in the summer. It will actually radiate from your skin but if you really want to make this last go on your shirt. That's it. Okay. So overall very very happy. This is a smooth fragrance. Okay. So you can definitely try it a little bit green little bit fruity a little bit sweet and a lot of freshness in this perfume and tad bit of that darkness of older aventus batches right so pineapple vintage intense this is gonna be a great fragrance it's gonna be a strong fragrance uh, when you wear it let's say um you are wearing it in a date you'll be extremely confident if someone asks you are you wearing aventus you can absolutely say yes you know vintage batch <laughs> it's a little bit cheating but then people even 
notice you that's when they will compliment you right so one thing i will tell you uh, perhaps the downside of it is after two and a half hours this fragrance perhaps you won't be able to detect that much okay but others around you just like dior sauvage will detect this definitely they will detect it and they will notice you and look for people's reaction or ask people can you detect my fragrance i think they will be able to tell you yes we do so overall uh, i'm not gonna say do not buy aventus if you are a fan of aventus if you can afford it if you love it all more power to you but from my personal experience this Sydney midi p Sydney limited edition i would buy them any day because for the price what they offer is amazing and this fragrance uh, is one of them right uh, i really uh, would say highly recommend you to try it all right so beautiful fragrance tomorrow i'm receiving one more i think that is also another niche fragrance but similar to aventus dna but very pleasant pleasant experience indeed so check out pineapple vintage intense initial impression i'm giving this uh, 9.5 out of 10 uh, because i'm very satisfied uh, perhaps 0.5 i'll reserve it for the full on review if it, this is gonna get a full 10 or not i don't know perhaps it will get perhaps it won't perhaps it will get eight i don't know right but do check it out on your skin this might work with you pineapple vintage intense by perfumes vintage uh, amazing amazing fragrance i'm uh, really happy to have it and i'll leave a link below where you can buy it in bangladesh you can pre-order there uh, they are offering good prices on it thanks for watching guys good night from dhaka bangladesh Bye bye